telling me is that not only did Eleanor escape, but uh, she sliced your arm as well. It was bad luck. Will we try to get her again? Right. I have spent the better part of a year waiting for an opportunity to repay Sir Thomas for the death of my son. I'm certainly not going to stop now. It would be easier to kill her. Not as emotionally satisfying, I'm told. If you've gone to all the bother to knife someone in the back, you might as well twist the dagger. Once Eleanor is hidden and Sir Thomas begins his quest, I'll make certain that he always has just enough knowledge of her whereabouts to make him think that he might just find her. Then I'll move her again. <laughs> Rollicking good fun, eh? So when do we seize her? Hmm. Well, she'll be on her guard now. And with whatever that thing is protecting her, could prove difficult. We need a place where she will be totally surprised. It's where uh, no one would even suspect anything so bold might happen. Lord Hazelmere's Harvest Festival. Beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> the first time I met your sister, your father brought her round here for approval. All eyes were on us. I was young, awkward, and it showed, I'm afraid. <laughs> I can't imagine you ever being awkward. <laughs> Anne asked to see the gardens. It was our first moment alone. Then she confessed that she felt nervous, too. And it was then you fell in love with her? Yes. Oh, Thomas. I'm a perfectly dreadful woman. Why? What's the matter? You've been so wonderful to me. I don't deserve such kindness. Brittany, please, <laughs> stop crying and tell me what's the matter. I'm not fit to wear these. You see, I'm a terrible liar. I led you to believe that Waldemir left me quite well off. But he really left me in the poorhouse. I haven't a farthing to my name. Is that all you're worried about? Isn't that enough? Aren't you angry? I could never be angry with you, Brittany. And certainly not for lack of money. You're part of the family. You will always have a home, Brittany. I will see to that. I don't know how I'll ever be able to thank you. I can start by putting these back on. Anne was right. You are the most wonderful man in the world. I'm telling you what I saw. You're making more out of it than there was. Father's love life is none of our business. What if Aunt becomes our new mother? From the moment she arrived, she's made her way into father's favor. Not to mention mother's dresses and jewelry. Why do you always take the negative view of things? She about? cares more for what father owns than father. Well, if that's what you believe, you'd better tell him. Yes, perhaps I should. Well, I'm sure he'll see your point immediately and come round to your way of thinking. Precisely. Prepare to die. He'll never take me alive. Trying to hurt Anna. We're not? Oh, all right, we're not. These are my brothers. Oh. I can do it myself. Lucas. I know. 
You wish I'd leave you alone. Where'd you get that armor? The kitchen. <laughs> Imagine any other way I'd rather be spending a beautiful spring morning. It's beautiful, isn't it? I remember when I was courting your sister. <laughs> On Sundays, the young men in the county would race our boats to Allington Tree, just up ahead. And you would win, of course. Of course. <laughs> Anne would act as if she wasn't enjoying herself. Say she was just ballast. I knew with her there, I could summon the strength of a thousand sails. <laughs> My lady? He was supposed to be here long ago. Oh, well, I I'm sure he'll arrive at any moment. I think not, My lady. One of my men saw Sir Thomas boating on the river with... I think it'd be a while. It was the only place we could find where we could be alone. And what would you do all afternoon? We would, uh, converse. About what? That. You mean this? And that? Or like this? Covington Cross will be back in a moment. What do you think it's doing? Now, now, children. The master of Lord Hazelmere's guard deserves some respect. You've come seeking assistance on a small matter. Well, trivial, really. I'm sure.
for you the most helpful. What do you want? His Lordship's Harvest Festival is something I look forward to with anticipation every year. Such a, such a gala event. It's just a shame that it has to be marred by the presence of so many guards. Put a damper on my mood. Hmm? After all, who would try and disrupt a harvest festival anywhere? My oath charges me to protect Lord Hazelmere and his guests, Baron Mullins. I think this is a fair price for your oath, Kilburn. You choose whether to take it or leave it. If you take it, we'll continue our discussion. If you leave it, we'll be on our way. After I gut you. Yes. Elizabeth. You missed our appointment yesterday, Thomas. I was showing Lady Brittany the grounds, and time caught up with me. Please, forgive me. Thomas. Is there anything I should be worried about? Of course not. Of course not. You would tell me if there were. Nothing has changed between us. What are you doing? I believe it's called an ambush. You weren't even close. Don't you think I know that? This proves I need a teacher. I need you. You insulted and embarrassed me in front of Eleanor. What kind of knight are you, anyway? Knights are supposed to help people. In my own way, I am. I have the courage of a thousand knights. If only I had a little training, I know I could be really good. I've heard you're the best. If anyone can teach me, you can. I beg of you, help me. Come on. I don't take all day. <laughs> Why are men so desperate to hang on to their youth? It's just a futile quest. <sighs> Futility lies in questing after a woman's heart they can never own. Nor the heart of one who no longer exists. We'd be well off without them. There's a thought. Wouldn't the world be glorious without Oh, we'd certainly be finished with crusades, boring conversations, all that dirty armor in the bedrooms. But of course, we'd have trouble opening the drawbridges. And shoeing horses. Slaughtering animals. But we could always live on vegetables. We'd gain so much in return. And think an end to their impassioned pleading for our feminine favors. <laughs> Actually, 
Some of my fondest memories are filled with impassioned pleading. And what followed? Well, I fear it will never stop. Lady Elizabeth, how are you today? Well, I certainly won't envy you. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't you realize? You'll never be loved for yourself. When you speak, he won't hear your voice, but Anne's. It'll never be you he holds, but it'll be Anne. And when he's in his deepest passion, It'll be Anne's name he cries out, not yours. Your words betray your desperation, Lady Elizabeth. Oh, I'm sure you know quite a lot about desperation, Lady Brittany. You're not looking for a husband to love. You're looking for a roof over your head. Strength is his weakness, and his weakness is his strength. My large size means I can make crushing blows, but at the same time, I leave myself vulnerable to attack. And it just takes one hit to knock a man down. Again. <laughs> now, you weren't listening. My weakness is on a runt. Since I'm small, I can come in for the lower blows. 